Sharpening is a game full of tips and tricks. While I'm getting this plane blade done, I thought I'd do three quick tips in three minutes. Tip one, sharpening any sort of woodworking tool much easier with a flat water stone. Flatten regularly, flatten often. My process is to flatten off, just a light one, and I subdivide my stone into however many areas I think I need. I can use one corner of the stone, another corner. Every time I move, I get the chance to reference for flat again. And every time I move, I get a new flat stone. Once I've done that, I can flatten off the stone quickly and easily. And I'm back to a nice flat area that can give me a flat bevel. Tip two is to use your eyes. Looking at your bevel, in a perfect world, it is going to be one flat mirror-like surface that will reflect your light by taking it on and then taking it off. If your light is coming onto your bevel all at once and then leaving it all at once, there's a good chance you've got a nice flat area. If your light is coming onto your bevel in a thin line and then just traveling along it and along it and along it, and then perhaps hanging around on the edge and then falling off, what that means is you have a rounded bevel. It's gonna take the line, take the light in a single line. So using your eyes, it's very important to make sure that you are tracking with a nice flat bevel uh, and if you are rounding it, to pick it up early in the process. You don't want to go about making it worse. If you have a hairline right on your edge, that means you have a flat spot uh, or, uh, in a best case scenario, a burr. But it's important to, to monitor it if you have a hairline of light along your edge. Point three uh, is just to make sure that all the work that you do on a single grit is completed on that grit before you move up to the next one. So I've started on this plane blade down at 320 and I've gone through 1000. Uh, and I've made sure that I've hit my entire edge on each grit before I'm ready to move up. It can be very tempting to jump to the next grit before you're done. However, that there's nothing that a fine grit can do that a coarse grit won't do faster. So it's really important to get that coarse grit nice and finished before you move up and start polishing. Anyway, there are three quick tips. I'm going to get back to this. Enjoy your sharpening.